Okay, good day everyone. Today I want to share the HIK mobile check-in. Okay, first of all, we have to understand the HIK Connect. Okay, so HIK Connect is usually is a cloud-based, so that's why you don't need host a server. You can use the time attendance, but they have a limited resources. Okay, so over here we able to log in the HIK Connect. Seems we have a HIK Connect account, you can log in. Okay, but if you not, you can do a register. Okay, so I over here I log in my account okay so I set login okay so once I log in they ask you to create a team mode because this create this team is a HC6 okay so this HC6 they have a even for a lot of a function so we create a team first so I put the office my I put it office my because I hold around the world I can use this okay so i can use uh, office okay for over here i prefer you take everything because they will have a certain if you don't use all the thing uh, they will facing uh, some of the interface is different so so i prefer you just create everything sir. okay once you already done the creation already once you enter this space it's quite easy you just refresh the page will do because sometimes the uh, the refreshment is quite delay, so just refresh, then you are able to see already. Okay, so firstly you have to understand. Okay, so they have a device person, video access control, attendance. Me because we are doing mobile check in by attendance, so, so usually on the attendance part. But first of all, we have to add the device first because the requirement that is required is have to have a device first to have a, this mobile chain at least one device as long you can use uh, the most cheapest the x04 or you can use the face terminal but over here i have a face terminal over here so i just click a device click ok so this is my device device page so we come back our this uh, local site over here i use my SATP. i search my device okay over here i just click my device okay at once i just log in okay this is my face terminal okay so i just log in my face terminal but i don't use any user because i just use a mobile check-in so so i don't use any user so uh, my person i don't use anything okay so we go into a configurations i go into the network they have a device access so the device access over here they have a hiq connect you just enable the hiq connect Verification code, I think I just put uh, AADDCC lah. Okay. So I just save on it. Okay, I just refresh the page. Yes, the device was already. So that's so why I can add this device to HIK Connect 6. Okay. So over here, we go to the system, going to system setting. So over here, do you notice they have a, after EN, they have a serial number AC514509. This is my serial number. So I just copy this serial number. So going to the HIK connect here. So we just add the device. Manually add the device. We type the serial number over here. So click OK. So they ask me for a device name. For me, it just say Puchong. OK. So device verification code AADDCC just now I have created username admin password and the the password I always using lah. Okay. Then after that add to group. Okay. So office group we add. Okay. So the device is added ready. So it's nothing to do over here. So as long the device is added, but I don't do any time attendance from device today. Today I want to share is a HIK Connect mobile check-in. So over here we have to create the user. So going to the person. So click add. So over here I check over here they have a required email. So we have to create the email for the person. Okay. So we have to go to the uh, another sessions. Okay. Okay, so now I create a HIK Connect account by using the Google because I recommended you using email to 
get the HIK Connect account. First of all, you have to have uh, your account first. Uh. Okay, so this is my uh, another new email. Okay, so we're going to the HIK Connect. Okay. So as usual, we how to register. You click login. So bottom here they have register. So you click the register. So create a uh, country. Okay. So I put this email. So I just Google, just copy lah. Okay. So I put back the desired password. So I just I agree. I get the verification code. Okay, so 4W60. So this, I have to check on my email site. Okay. Okay, I have an inbox over here. My security 0174. 0174. Register. So it's done already. You don't need to do anything as long as you've done your account register. Okay, that's all. Okay, so we return on the this person already. So over here we add it back. Okay, so we put a name over here. <coughs> we just put it security. And then we we'll put it back the ID. Okay, so. Just now I create this security.wah alliance gmail.com. Okay, so once this done ready, we add into it. Okay, so we have this account ready, but we came back, we go into the attendance. So attendance here they, they have a check-in out via mobile. So you just click it, must upload picture. Okay, so it's done ready on the person part. So on the person part is okay ready so we go into the attendance okay so we turn to this attendance ready i recommend that you take it like uh to do a start scheduling okay so first of all uh we next on we can follow this we can follow over here the visit but i prefer you just cancel it first go into basic going to general because we have to understand the company the example the company are working on monday to friday is okay but sometimes saturday also available so we have to check over here and one more thing they have a overtime overtime if you don't count overtime it's okay just leave it emptiness empty like this attendance rule okay over the attendance rule i prefer you over the default effective check-in out time you put 60 minutes because uh, sometimes we need to uh, secure all the people able to check in so that's why we put a 30 minute over here okay we click it save so this is done ready so we're going to the uh, timetable we have to create a timetable click add so after click click add ready they have a name so you just create your, the name you need lah. so as I'm about, I put daily over here so it's just 9 to 18 so automatically will be uh, 8 to 10 for the check in 17 to 19 for the check out okay like a normal working hour 9 to 6 o'clock okay we just add into it so that's all how to do it some more one thing we have to do on the attendance part is check in out via mobile client okay over here you just go into the manage check in out okay so once you in enter this mention out they have a add now so as you just click the add now so if you're looking the uh i around the puchong area so i click the puchong a puchong area they will zoom the puchong area so it depends okay example i'm working in the lotus here so i click on the lotus so within the lotus area 300 meter radius so for me i just put two kilometer and just put uh, my office lah. office puchong okay so this office puchong we add into it so it's done ready so now we have to manage the person okay we back over here so we just take this person over here okay we add it so we take on a neighbor check in our area so it's the office puchum within how many days okay from 18 to 2025 lah, if i don't miss uh one first of november lah. okay so okay, okay safe so starting today onwards this security this name security person they have to do a check-in so as I said, they also have to upload the picture okay we done one thing over here so we return to a schedule part
so this person have to assign the schedule so we add the schedule so this you put a date okay so first first okay so make sure it's on the security or safe so they will start it onwards so they have for this uh they follow this time schedule for the work week. okay so i will do the report by using this check in check out i hope i can do on the day before okay okay so good day everyone okay so today i want to continue how to do a check-in by at the person that that means as normal people we need to do a check-in mobile check-in how are we going to do it so firstly go to the hsk connect okay log in your account but this is have to the user account okay then you put back your password the user password uh, when you check in they will ask you the uh, team invitation receive office okay then you take it and accept so when you accept ready then he will ask you to start okay so once you start ready do you see they have a uh, uh something like uh different a bit right to compare normal hik connect so they have a check in out over here so you go to the check in out Okay, they will according your GPS, they will weigh your location on it. So, so after that, they will say, okay, I, I, I risk at the side there. Okay, then after that, you can upload the picture. Okay, so you can take your picture over here. Okay, you can take. Okay, so that's how you can check in and out. Okay, so they you have see they have successfully checked in out, succeeded. Okay. Hmm. So that's all for the check-in. So later on, I will do a check-out. Okay. Okay, so now I want to do a check-out. Because now already 6 o'clock something, so I can do a check-out. So I go to the HRK Connect apps. I want to do a check-out. So over here, I please check-in out over here. Okay. So I click check-in out over here, you located your system also. Okay, so this already under the Puchong area. So I think you can do an adjustment. Where are you located? But as long as it's the same things, okay? So over here, I located at the IY Puchong here. So I do check it out on IY Puchong. Just a uh, remark. Uh. Okay, so after that, you can upload the picture. Okay, so I upload the, I upload the picture over here. Okay, so I can do a check in out. So like this. Okay, so check in out already success. So so I will do report. Okay. Mm, thank you. So now we return to the Hushake Connect. Okay, so now I want to show how to see the report. So firstly we have to enter the account username or password. Okay, this is the admin account so i want to see my employee so my employee name is security so we're going to log in okay so once you log in ready you're going to the attendance okay so attendance here you see your person name security that have a time schedule over here right isn't it so we're going to see his report so report here they have a lot of report but majorly we see is the you can see on the total time card report for see the current current month but before that we have to done the recalculate first okay because we have to get all the data calculate at the same time okay so once you recalculate ready then you're going to the last example current month so we take a filter so you come out all the transactions so as you see over here i already done the transaction on 11 21 11 21 8 20 from the mobile apps okay and i check out over here but one time i have done late over here 9 31 i late so this also already will show my late time 31 minutes okay so i'm working for eight hour and 36 and this i'm working for 10 hours okay so they will mention uh how many hours i'm working in from the mobile okay firstly but we have to know where we can see the 
uh, transaction over here you can see the mobile transactions so once the mobile transition he will coming out this okay so you can see the, the name the person name security they are checked into the partner Puchong Jaya if you want to see the view you can take a view over here so this uh, IOI mall where this is under Puchong and this is also IOI Boulevard this is under Puchong as well so he is, that means he really been there okay so this is how we check the things so we can see on the transition part also very slight they have a remark over here okay so this is how the way we check the mobile transaction and their worker check in from the mobile